Guys, I know sewing is not child's play and sometimes after sewing, after working on a sewing project, your workspace ends up looking like World War 3 happened in there. What's up guys, welcome back to my channel and to the last vlog episode for this year and today I'm going to be sharing with you guys five common sewing mistakes you should leave behind this year. That means like guys, this common sewing mistake shouldn't follow you into the new year. <laughs> And number one on the list of sewing mistakes is not ironing while you sew. Guys, I mention this all the time, but a lot of you are still guilty of this because a lot of you are, you can't be bothered about standing up while sewing. You think it's too stressful, it's too strenuous for you to keep standing up from your sewing machine and um, to iron. But the next most important thing when sewing after your sewing machine is your pressing iron and the difference between ironing while you sew and not ironing while you sew is so wide that i wonder why lots of people still are not bothered they still don't want to be bothered about ironing while sewing but i understand sha it's laziness right <laughs> but imagine i want you to imagine something imagine how happy and how 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 glad you feel about yourself when you are done sewing and the um, sewing project you are making looks really neat professional and well made you can imagine that right so guys please iron while you sew iron your seams while you sew and number two on the list of sewing mistakes i see lots of people still do is putting pins into their mouth guys this one is so so dangerous i wonder how people like have the confidence to do that and guys real story this has happened to someone i know before but because um she swallowed a, a beading needle she was beading um she was beading something on a dress if she swallowed the beading needle instead of the normal regular pins that was why um the disaster was not so pronounced so it just like when she swallowed the beading needle it just went straight into her stomach it didn't get stuck in her throat or anywhere or else on her body imagine if it had gotten stuck somewhere in her throat or something <laughs> it would have been a different story so to avoid stories that such guys why not get um a pin cushion one of those um wristband pin cushions the cell so you can just wear it on your wrist when, when you are sewing so um, when you're saying you need pins, it is it, you get easy access to your pins. So instead of like putting the pins in your mouth, <laughs> I would never do that. And if you do, guys, please don't let this continue in the new year. <laughs> Number three on the list of common mistakes is using your fabric scissors to cut anything else other than your fabric. I know a lot of people when they are cutting and when they are sewing, they are always in a rush. So or maybe they are cutting their pattern paper, for example. They just pick up whatever scissors that is close to them, whatever scissors they can find. It's not bothering to check is it my fabric scissors or is it a paper scissors, and they use it straight up to cut their fabric. Hmm. Guys, if you don't want to keep making an investment of buying new scissors every month, you should never do this. So making a habit of using your fabric scissors to cut anything other than your fabric is really not ideal. And apart from that, it's the kind of frustration you feel when you are using like a blunt scissors. When you when you have already used that, so you've already mishandled or manhandled the scissors and now the scissors is blunt <laughs> and you want to use that same scissors to cut your fabric imagine the frustration so guys have different scissors for different things don't even borrow anybody they've got the scissors with all you have and don't use it to cut anything else other than your fabric number four on the list of common mistakes is having a cluttered workspace guys i know sewing is not child's play and sometimes after sewing after working on a sewing project your workspace ends up looking like world war three happened in there i understand and sometimes you're even tired you're even too tired to even say let me clear this place up but guys i recommend that before you start another new sewing project especially on a new day i recommend you clearing up your space before you start working because guys you might not feel it but there's something clutter does to our mental health you just notice that you are angry and you're just snapping at people anyhow but you will not know that it's because of how disorganized your workspace is that's why you are acting that way and when your workspace is disorganized you're already feeling disorganized already when you're even when you're just starting a new project which is not ideal for that project that's clothes that you're trying to make so guys clearing up your workspace helps you feel calm and more in control control of um, 
of what you are doing for that day especially if you are now going to work on a difficult project for example if you are if you have cleared up your workspace and it's free of clutter and all if your brain feels refreshed to tackle on that um, difficult project you are trying to work on and now to the fifth and final mistake i see a lot of people make is not transferring pattern markings to your fabric some people will finish cutting their pattern they will finish cutting their fabric but they will not remember to transfer the dart their dart marks from their pattern to their fabric and then by the time they remember they will be like hmm okay don't worry i'll wing it they'll be like hmm, it's not a problem i'll wing it i'll wing it while sewing and then they start sewing and by the time they finish sewing whatever it is they are sewing they end up finding out that one that is longer than the other now to loosening and sewing it back countless of times which if you are not even frustrated by the time <laughs> by the time you are done or by the time you are done sewing and loosening and sewing and loosening now you don't fling the um outfit or whatever you are making away that means you have a really strong mind because imagine what what you're supposed to use like um one hour to make you are using like maybe two hours or two hours 30 minutes or even more to make that outfit just because you didn't remember to um transfer your uh, pattern markings to your fabric so guys whatever notches are on your pattern whatever marks whatever anything that is on your pattern and you know that you need to sew this thing on your fabric remember always to transfer all of them remember to transfer all of the marks and the notches don't make it a habit guys and if you already have it as a habit i would recommend that you do not allow it enter and follow you into the new year and that brings me to the end of today's tutorial guys <laughs> if you are guilty of any of these common mistakes please try to adjust don't forget to subscribe to my channel guys by tapping the subscribe button right below your screen tap the like button also and I'll see you in the new year. Hey, safe guys. <laughs>